Scorpio Sag Cuspers, what is up, y'all? Welcome to Divine Conversations. Welcome to your reading for April 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm doing a mini freestyle reading for you guys, just like the rest. Um, uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you don't know what that is, just continue watching. You will see shortly. Yeah, soon enough. So I just want to dive into this for you guys. So um, I have your pre-shuffle energies here. Yeah, it looks like you guys are setting off in a new direction. You have the chariot. Okay, you have the chariot. Um, and as soon as the chariot came out, and I well, as soon as I saw the chariot, um, my first impression was you guys have made a decision and you're moving forward towards it. You're, you're, you're moving on with it. Um, and, and then of course we have the set uh, the two of wands here, which is about making a decision, choosing a new direction, something that is creatively powerful, something that is inspiring, um, or at least just something that you feel very passionate about, very driven about, or very ready to do. With the seven of pentacles here, there is definitely a, a situation that has happened for you, something that has come to culmination. This could very well be for those, and especially since we're we're you know we're getting into the Sag, the Sagis energies. Um, you guys on my channel here, you've been dealing with something over since oh, for your life, for your whole life, but something that started a story that kicked off back in August of 2019. Um, I, I, I feel like for a lot of you, this is an extension of whatever that is. And with the seven of pentacles energy, it's as if you finally come to a point where you can, you have made, been able to make greater sense of whatever it is you've been experiencing over your life, the trials, the tribulations, the troubles, the circumstances, definitely an energy of learning through the contrast. But I feel like for you right now, Scorpio Sagis, Sag Cuspers is that, um, it's like you find you've you've reached the amount of understanding subs uh, uh, a sufficient understanding in order to really change your direction change your goals change your alignment and move forward towards something new move on in your life okay uh justice is at the bottom of the deck and part of me wants to say that regardless of whatever decision choice that you've made or direction you've chosen to move in it's not necessarily that it's really all that easy of a choice however there is a level of understanding here that you've come to the culmination again seven of pentacles that is that makes it okay appropriate in alignment however you want to describe it it could be a bittersweet situation and that did just come through in morning coffee that i did today so which dated for the 16th of april you might want to watch that because i did just hear um um oh shoot what was the phrase i i heard a phrase um that was mentioned in that morning coffee okay so it's it's titled it's for the 16th of april it's titled happily ever after here we come um Ah, bittersweet. There you go. It might be a little bit of a bittersweet situation, a bittersweet victory. However, ultimately, there is a, a level of understanding, whether it's conscious or subconscious, that their justice is in fact being served here. Okay, scales are being balanced. Um, it, it, some of you may be getting a payout of some sort. So this could be a legal situation, a legal battle. But ultimately, it doesn't even have to be monetary payout it could just be energetic payout right like something that may have been uh, building in your we'll call it your energetic escrow if you're familiar with the the teachings of abraham hicks um it, whatever something that could have been in your energetic escrow that was just building in momentum and energy and and whatnot is now finally being paid out is finally being um the the fruits of your labor are finally being able to be enjoyed and 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 it may not necessarily be that you're getting all that much however the fruits of these labors of this labor absolutely could be the fact that now you're able to take what it is you learned from the situation and move forward move on okay that's beautiful. Highly charged, ready to go, very balanced, very grounded, uh, very much understanding of yourself or life circumstances. Um, it doesn't mean that you have a full 100% understanding of everything, but you have a better understanding, a greater understanding that from this point you can now move forward. And all of that is coming from the chariot energy, okay? That's beautiful. I'm going to give this one shuffle and then we're going to get into the rest of the reading here for you. Yeah? Here we go. All righty, kids. 
Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpio Sagittarius cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of April 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, five shuffles. Um, but what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing for you is there is a sense of clarity that is like bright as day for you here. And that clarity is really allowing you to move forward in a really new, exciting, fun, maybe even enthusiastic way. And for some of you, I'm picking up that that enthusiasm is, is purely for the fact that you're leaving the past behind you. You're like really ready to get on with something new and that's exciting. Last shuffle here. All right. Scorpio Sagittarius Cuspers. Let's see what we've got for you for the month of April. Boop. All right. Overall energy for my kids. For the kids. We have the Queen of Pentacles. That's excellent. You've got come to a point where you really understand your worth. You really understand your value. You are... Um, very appreciative of any sort of um, committed, consistent, hard work or effort. You find the value in that. For some of you, you're, you're learning the value of that yourself and gaining a greater appreciation for it and then put, applying that into your life as you see fit. Um, there's also an energy of just knowing exactly what it is you're worthy of or at least having a better idea of what it is you're worthy of and moving forward with that. There's also a level of unconditional love and compassion that's coming through with this Queen of Pentacles energy. So for those of you that are moving forward in your life into brand new ventures or brand new pastures, I, I believe or I feel like you're taking a level of compassion with you for the circumstances you've experiences, experienced in the past. So that could very well be associated with maybe individuals that you were uh, tangoing with at that time that maybe you may have held a level of resentment or animosity towards but i don't feel like that's really that big of a deal any longer however with this queen of pentacles energy there is a strong eye looking towards like saying hmm a strong eye of discernment we'll say that's looking at people uh, places or circumstances from your past and, and if any of them were to resurface you mean you're compassionate towards them or like thoughts of should can surface or should surface of them you're holding compassion but at the same time you're like yeah but w what is that really going to do for me now how is that going to help me now is that balance is that reciprocal is that something that i really want to give my time energy and effort to okay there's a strong sense of discernment with this queen of pentacles and that could be a very queen of swords energy but the compassion in it the compassion the unconditional love the understanding the nurturance is coming through as the queen of pentacles here and it's interesting because i do kind of see the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords as kind of like best friends they're besties because they're both very discerning very strong-willed very grounded you could say maybe the Queen of Pentacles is more grounded because she's Earth, whereas the Queen of Swords is Air. But there's a there's a level of understanding. Like they, the, I see those energies as of the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles as seeing very much eye to eye with each other. Okay, so it makes sense that that discerning energy would come through here underneath the whoa. Okay, underneath the Queen of Pentacles is the King of Cups, emotional responsibility taking responsibility for your actions, taking responsibility for your life, taking your life into your own hands and saying, you know what? I'm going to do what's right for me and I'm going to choose the highest road here. There is absolutely a balance between masculine and feminine energy here for you and that's beautiful. Underneath the King of Cups is the Four of Cups. Okay, and underneath the Four of Cups is the Page of Wands. Beautiful. That makes a lot of sense because the Four of Cups is representing past energies here and it's, it could it doesn't have to be all that distant of a past energy but what it is representing is something that um was maybe rejected passed up on unrequited love but with this sense of emotional 
excuse me, emotional immaturity and emotional responsibility here, you're taking your power back and recognizing that if there is a situation that is unrequited or that is not reciprocal, that is not turning out the way that you want, and this has actually been a major message for the collective that I've been channeling for recently, but instead of continuing to follow through with that, instead of continuing to give of yourself to that situation that obviously is not interested in giving back to you for whatever reason, um, it, it doesn't matter the reason. The Queen of Pentacles, the compassionate energy of the Queen of Pentacles understands that it doesn't matter what the reason is. All that matters is the fact that this is not reciprocal. This is not, this is, there's not a return on an investment coming in here. And so with the King of Cups energy, you're taking your power back. You're saying, you know what? Let me take, let me take my love elsewhere. Page of Wands, re-identifying yourself, changing your, your view, changing the way you appear in life, changing the way you show up in life. Um, new creative venture, understanding yourself better, understanding your own power better understanding what it is that you have to offer on a much better scale on a much more grounded scale and thus honoring that by only engaging or interacting in situations that are reciprocal and balanced Shh. fucking right y'all okay let's get into the rest of this here first set of surrounding energies for my score oh by the way scorpio this is you king of cups right there okay beautiful all right. Ooh, 1111. First set of surrounding energies for you guys. The Hierophant. You learned very, very valuable lessons here. Some of these were some really, really tough lessons, you know, um, and it, it was a point, it could have been so tough to the point where it's like you felt completely defeated, completely broken, completely broken down. Um, maybe like you didn't even matter anymore, but it, this is very, uh, you've come a long way. Phoenix from the ashes risen type of energy from this Hierophant. The Hierophant is teaching and learning. And what I'm getting from this is very physical, three-dimensional lessons. Very dense in energy, which makes it probably slow to move. It took, took a long time to get through, but ultimately it taught you something super, super valuable that you're going to be, be able to take with you for the rest of your life. Um, I definitely feel a, a, a strong, solid sense of uh, a foundation here with what you've learned, what you've experienced in tangoing with these Hierophant energies. Could be very patriarchal, but that is something I just heard, so I'll, I'll put it out there. So if that resonates with you, then that's what we're talking about. The Hierophant is coupled with the Knight of Cups. You've come out of it better. You've come out of it with a stronger sense of compassion, love, unconditional love, unconditionally giving, um, and you're moving forward with your heart's desire and then okay okay so also that's where the patriarchal energy comes into play because what you've learned what some of you have learned through this page uh, this hierophant energy or tangling with the energies of the patriarchy you've learned the value of self-expression you've learned the value of individuality you've learned the value of trusting your heart rather than trusting the physical trusting what your heart says uh, wanting to move forward or lead with your heart more that's the energy that's that you've come out of this with, and that is beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio Sag, you have the Six of Pentacles. There's that reciprocity. This is your focus. Um, you, some of you have really made, uh, uh, shifted into a sense of civil service in some way. Maybe some of you are actually getting into um, government, social work, something that can that you, in which you can work in a capacity that helps to better the lives of the people around you and and, and from this point of view if you are in this very humanitarian type in energy it's because it's a direct result of the lessons that you've learned in life and you now want to pay it forward that's beautiful i'm i'm really very strongly picking up on a sense of civil service civil duty some of you may be becoming police officers firefighters uh health workers government officials um you might be getting on your community boards as community leaders uh, getting involved in like town halls and and your community local local branches of government whatever it is that you, whatever position that you can put yourself in, whatever work or job you can work, you can do that is in alignment with you, that helps you be of service to people. That is your option. That is your goal right now for some of you. Others of you, this is very much romantic in, in, in nature, understanding the value of reciprocal energy, recognizing the red flags in unrequited love and not allowing yourself to dive any deeper into that situation once that red flag has come up. Six of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, look at you, the Six of Swords, y'all. You are moving 
on towards your destined location, your destined path. Some of you may be physically moving. For sure. And also, this is an element of moving on with the planet as the planet makes this shift into a more fifth dimensional energy, which, which is all about being of service to others. Because of the understanding, the reciprocity in that, when you are of service to others, that energy comes back towards you. And the service you need, the help you need, the guidance you need comes flowing right back to you. Mm -hmm. Your challenge. The devil, very interesting. Some of you may still have individuals, energies, circumstances, situations surrounding you that are kind of trying to pull at you. So for some of you, this is, your, this is a new, this is a new level, or this is, you, this is, you're just breaking into this energetic, energetic space. And thus there could be some situations that are still trying to pull at you to pull you back. It's almost it almost feels like a last ditch effort um, by on the uh, on the behalf of some darker entities. But the higher perspective there is that this is just like another challenge for you to continue to solidify and fortify your foundation. The devil is coupled with the queen of wands very much like moths to a flame you have this brand new vibration about yourself and so thus there are individuals or entities that want to take advantage of that or that want to shoot you down your challenge is to remain in your vibration right very law of attraction like remain in your vibration in the face of any sort of negativity that tries to hold you down or stamp out your light your closing message or potential outcome here hold on baby. Ugh, I need more space on my desk. We have the Seven of Pentacles. There's that Seven of Pentacles again. Learning through the contrast. Um, specifically, understanding exact or having a greater understanding. Maybe not complete understanding, but having a greater understanding of exactly what it is you need to do, where it is you need to be going now, what you need to be putting your efforts towards. Very much no longer distracted, even even though you do have this devil energy here that is trying to distract you a little bit. Uh, you, it's it, mm, you're much stronger now than you were in the past, so the devil's chances of being able to knock you off your path are much slimmer. I'm here. I want to say slim to none, but this is a general reading, so let's 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 be practical much slimmer than they were in the past. So as an effect, the devilish energies here may be going hard, like real hardcore, but still I feel like it's just kind of like rolling, it's like water off a duck's back. Like you're so solid in this understanding of who you are and how the law of attraction works, very law of attraction based knowledge that it's almost as if you're watching, you could be watching the devil do this and kind of getting a little bit of a chuckle to yourself, you know, because you're just so solid. You've learned so much. So beautiful. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with. There, whoa, there you go. Two of Swords, the blinders. You've got those blinders on, guys. Oh my God, that's perfect. Again, you might want to watch that morning coffee reading from the 16th of April. Again, it's titled... Um, 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 Happily Ever After, Here We Come. Happily Ever After, Here We Come definitely check out that reading because it really could resonate for you because the two of swords came out and actually throughout this whole week or at least we'll say throughout that whole week that morning that week of morning coffee the two of swords kept coming out and it was speaking to having your blinders on not being distracted not being distracted or not allowing yourself to be, to get distracted beautiful okay let's close this out for you with some oracle guidance from the unicorns. Last shuffle for my Scorpio Sag Cuspers. Here we go. Closing message, please, spirit. For my Scorpio Sagis. Gentleness. Yep. 
Absolutely. This is your energy right now. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. There is definitely a new level of compassion that you have reached here that is unprecedented in your life. And that's beautiful. There's also a sense of security that you are feeling in this gentleness, this compassionate energy. And that's beautiful as well. Okay. You have goddess, Eww, look at you, honor your divine feminine energy, see your inner beauty, love every part of you, and you have abundance. Every, enjoy the bounty of life, your supply is unlimited, blessings are come to you. At the bottom of the deck, you do have nature. Ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature, connect with the elementals. That one is a reminder to maintain your sense of ground. If you're starting to feel overwhelmed at any point, just get back to nature. And Mother Gaia is even saying just let me take all that from you and let me use it as fertilizer. Let me revamp it. Let me re realign it, whatever. This is really beautiful energy, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, most likely for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.